Uh, Something else that uh, I I was thinking about is um, how dads can approach uh, moms who, uh, again, you you may not have thought about it. You may have uh, not necessarily seated control, or maybe you have, uh, but uh, go and and talk with your wife and and sit down and, and say like, okay, show me, show me the curriculum. Show me what the plan is for this semester. And if you think like, okay, won't she be suspicious? Good, good. Tell her I'm, I'm, I'm here. Like, you know, it, the, the th- think about the hard times in your marriages or, or your lives where, where it's you and her against everybody or against whatever it is. Um, being, being told like, Hey, I'm here too, is one of the reasons why we get married. It's one of the reasons why we have a relationship. It's one of the reasons why, uh, we, we, we can push our beds together on like, uh, Lucy and Ricky Ricardo uh, weren't, weren't weren't allowed to do for for uh, reasons, <laughs> but but um, you know go into it with a thinking and asking questions because think about if your wife asked you, hey, that really nerdy thing about presuppositional apologetics, could you tell me about it? How bloody excited would you be to just spill everything? Uh, uh, and and she might not get all of it, but think about those two questions she asked to try and understand it. Well, that's what you're doing. And I would say, don't go in thinking of changing anything or like um, mm, th- thinking right. that you're going to, f- you're fixing something and, and, and don't even let that on because sometimes we, as men, we, we, we get told stories yep. and we, 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 we want to fix it because that's what we're here. But we're, we're, if we're coming into this new, when it's three years in or six months in and, She's gone through 82 different curriculums. She's she's made the determination on this is how we're going to learn spelling or this is the subjects we're going to focus on. You coming in and upending that because you just want to try for the first time uh, is is you're 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 a lover, but you're also the dangerous viper who who will will uh, if, if she's a good Christian woman, uh, uh, you'll you'll undo her her system, and so. You're just you're just there to ask questions, which is, oh, so how are they teaching uh, multiplication? You know, maybe it's through song, maybe it's through uh, flashcards or, or what have you. But having to sit down and, and being involved in that and, you know, if the kids interrupt it, perfect. You, you're saying, oh, I'm I'm learning about what you're going to be studying through this. And so you're you're informing your child that you care. You're taking the time again. You could be dead tired, but ultimately this is your responsibility as well. Put mm-hmm. food on the table. Check. Why are you putting food on the table? Well, because it's my responsibility. No, because you you love these people around your table and right. you care about them surviving. And part of their survival is to get through in this world. And that's through you having, you know, weapons of protection, whatever that that means, or the ability to put a roof over the head, but also to 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 teach them. And so this is one of the things that you can do where you're just involved in the knowing because then you can insert yourself and say like, Oh, can I do the math because I really like it? Or can I, can, um, can we have a day for like, uh, one of the things that, uh, Jeff uh, recommended to me, uh, ancillarily that I stole from him was, uh, a a book on world speeches throughout kind of history. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, we've been flying through it at, at a, at a much quicker pace than he has, but he's got more godly reasons for it. And so (laughs) I, I, um, (laughs) I, I, we've just been just adding it at, at the end of our, we do a, a devotional and then we do a word of the day to, to get a new word in our vocabulary. And then we sometimes uh, do one of these speeches and kind of talk about it because I want them to always have a, a, a history thing in their mind of, of some kind yeah. and some variety to, to show the importance of it. And it's pretty clear in, in my house that uh, history is very important because we, we do learn a lot uh, uh, from that. And I, that's, that's one of the directions that I want to lead on. Um, but being, being involved in that and, and taking on a subject or, Hey, I can do sight words with, with, with the child. Here's the board. I'm going to use a, a silly finger pointer to point at the word and she's going to do it. And she might not do it right the first time or he, and we're going to do it again. Oh, dad, but mom only does it one time. Well, let's just try it one more time. And so, it's, it's, it's finding just those little areas to, to, to do. And maybe you tend to like it and you'll, you'll end up doing more, but yeah, it, it, what you're saying is the responsibility might be advocated to the wife to 
find the curriculum to find what day is what. And your job then is to say, okay, I'm going to support this and I, I approve of this. I'm putting my dad's stamp on it and I will do exactly what she said on the day that it's prescribed to the child. Well, and, and yeah, and maybe, maybe she doesn't need help, but it just gives you ideas for how to supplement with something, something like, uh, a book of speeches or, uh, or, uh, or, or, uh, or, or like, oh, I see how this ties in with catechism or, or whatever is mm-hmm. like, is just, just being more involved in the whole development yeah. of, the of holistic your nature child of it. Mm-hmm. is, is, is going to, and so, so yeah, just, just, uh, so, honey, I promise I'm not going to change anything right. <laughs> yet. Right. right. <laughs> you, you have to be a trusted advisor. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. And, and um, well, I mean, one of the best pieces of advice I got in seminary is, "Don't move the piano in the first year." Right. 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 Like, and that, that was just like, hey, no matter how small it seems, don't come in and make a bunch of changes um, when you're when you're coming into a, a existing church, uh, it, be humble, uh, practice your chest and spins for anyone who uh, is, is you're listening. Do you use that? It, 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 your I, listeners I are gonna no, be super- no, okay. it, it's, it's a little I'll bit too Catholic quickly. for me, but, uh, but uh, I, fair I, enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'll explain quickly what a chest and spin is, or what the idea behind chest and spins is. It's just like you come along a fence on your own property. Basically, um, you come along a fence, before you pull it down, try to find out why it's there. Yes. Right? Like, yes. don't, don't, uh, is, uh, there, um, maybe someone erected that fence who knew things you don't know. Right. Um, and yeah. if it's your wife, take it for granted that she did. Um, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah. It's very respectful to your wife to take it for granted that she did. Um, but with, with, so- with my family, I, I, I've added to that and I've said that I want to build the hedge because I tend to be the first generation of Christian mm. in, in it. So right. um, I, 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 I love that saying because it's, it's a, it's a, it's, it's a good starting point and then continues. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And um, <laughs> yeah, maybe you should build a hedge where other people have built hedges. Exactly. Yeah. No, yeah. That's beautiful. Um, and, uh, and so, yeah, honey, I'm not changing anything, at least not yet. Um, but I, I just, I just want to know, uh, so that I can, I can think about the way our children are being raised in the nurture and admonition of, of the Lord in a more fully or way, in a, in a, in a more holistic, um, way. And there may be things I can do to supplement, um, what you're doing. Um, there may be, there may be some, some some parts that where you're feeling friction now that i can oil up but again i'm promising not to change anything yet right. i'm only i'm only going to supplement at least at <laughs> first right <laughs> and, yeah. and uh uh and that can that can be a big way of, of loving your wife loving your children and loving god and pursuing <laughs> and pursuing the the ultimate goal of raising your children and his nurture and admonition all at the same time. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, it, it, and, uh, uh, and yeah, great point. and, yeah. and you'll, you'll be stunned. So, I mean, we just did, uh, one of those speeches and it got us into a big conversation about how, um, uh, about how, Oh wait, the good guys don't always win. Right. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> um, and I'm sure you guys ended up having that conversation too. Uh, it's or sometimes of, the of, speech is really good and it does nothing to the audience. And then it does nothing and they lose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, this was a great speech and then they got slaughtered. Everyone who heard this speech died. We don't even know why we have it, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, 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 and and uh, uh, and so that that's that's one that's that's sort of obviously going to come up and like, Oh yeah. It, yeah. God didn't promise that we're always going to win. Huh? Right. Like, uh, is, is, 
Um, uh, and and so it's a um, it's a great great way of having um, uh, having these little conversations. And and I, and and it's it's not just this this book in in particular or anything. I'm saying there are all there are all kinds of little little ways that that you can supplement that will get you to those big um those big spiritual conversations mm -hmm. um that you're trying to inculcate as a father I mean, what how much so much of the way this is expressed in in the scriptures are is as you walk by the way yeah right? it was like yeah. it, this stuff doesn't this stuff just doesn't just come up within the four posts of family worship. Right, right. right. Yeah. It, it, Dad opened it, the Bible. He executed the, the, the text. He closed it. And we never talked about it again. Ah, yes. Right. No. <laughs> yeah. I mean, so many, so, so many of these conversations have come up uh, uh, for, for me, literally as we walk by the way, right? mm -hmm. we, we take, we take little nature walks, uh, and uh, um, and that's that's where the conversations come up. Is, um, isn't it kind of incredible the way God designed a duck, where it can walk and swim and fly, and it's it's built for all those things? Isn't that so cool? That it is. Uh, how did he come up with that? You know, yeah. um, earthworms and all kinds of you know, um, and uh, and. And uh, these are the conversations that um, uh, that we that we get into um, all the time. And so that, by the way, when um, so because my my kids go to a, a, a Christian school, and the Christian school um, took them to a science museum where all the plaques talked about millions and millions of years. Um, and I didn't. Uh, I don't think anyone at the school had this conversation with them and I've had this conversation, but I've had this conversation with them enough. My kids are well catechized enough that, um, that they, uh, it is, is that, uh, so she's telling me about the science museum and she says, oh, oh and by the way, dad, it had all this stuff to say about millions of years ago that these things happened. But I noticed they don't even know that God made the world. So how are they <laughs> supposed to know when he, when all this stuff happened? They, they don't even know the first thing, which is that God made it all of it. <laughs> um, and, and, uh, and, and so it's like, it, it, it's, uh, and that, that came from like, that specifically came from the, as you walk by the way, and we read books about dinosaurs. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Yep. Um, and so, but those are the two, I guess those are, it, it, uh, so, yeah, the literal as you walk by the way, um, and then, and then we, we just we're we're not doing anything super spiritual. We're reading a book about dinosaurs, and and what are we gonna? We're, we're whenever I accidentally read the part of the sentence that talks about millions and millions of years ago, <laughs> <laughs> um, um, I'll, I'll be like, but you know, they don't know that. <laughs> they're, 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 uh, you know, we, uh, and, 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 and we just, yeah. And we probably had that exact conversation. Right? They oh, don't yeah. even know God made the world. How are they supposed to know? How are they supposed to know when there was a Tyrannosaurus? <laughs> 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 um, um, and so, uh, they thought a brachio, a, a brachiosaur was a brontosaurus. Yeah. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I mean, oh, and we just had the conversation, uh, last night at dinner. Um, we just had the conversation of, uh, 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 my, my boy had gotten the idea that dragons weren't real. I don't know where he got mm. dragons aren't real from. Boy. So I, said, I said, oh no, no, dragons were, dragons were real and, and, and they almost certainly live with humans and, and, and the ones that. The ones that can't swim really deep or go really deep into a jungle are probably dead. Um, <laughs> probably, or, 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 clear, clearly dead. <laughs> the ones that can't, 
the ones that can't hide from humans pretty well are are clearly dead by now. And maybe the maybe Which those is are survival people. of the fittest, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, maybe, maybe maybe they're all dead, but at least the ones that aren't good at hiding from humans are are dead by now. Um, but but we we talked about how no, this is this is clearly this is clearly uh, um, just uh, they're clearly coming to wrong assumptions here because you've got um, if history is reliable at all. You've got these people writing histories that we rely on for everything else. Mm -hmm. Everything else is accurate, or we're taking it to be accurate. Um, and they describe other animals that we've that that we've been able to verify live in the places that they said they were <laughs> that they said they found them in. Um, and then they say they saw dragons, and they say it exactly the same way. They talk about everything else. They're not. They're not. <laughs> They're not saying, and then I started having a dream, or <laughs> um, and, yeah. and, and and then I passed through a mystical waterfall, or or anything like that. They're they're telling you exactly in the exact same matter of fact. They're saying they saw dragons, so they probably did, right? Like if we if we believe them, and how many Persians came to that battle? If we believe that's even close <laughs> to being, if we believe that that has something <laughs> something to say historically to us at all yeah. uh then then we should believe them when they say they saw a dragon because they're saying it in exactly the same way doesn't seem like they're embellishing it doesn't seem mm -hmm. like they're entering into fantasy here they said they saw a dragon they said we, in, in the punic wars they said it took a hundred of them to beat it they found one a serpent i think they called it in a cave and they said that it took a hundred of them to beat it and you know and um and you know what that probably happened because we believe them about how many of them it took to beat the Carthaginians. <laughs> why, why, why would we think it's so different when they're talking about a serpent they found in a cave? Yeah. They probably found some kind of a dragon. <laughs> um, so anyway, I, uh, that's, Boy, is that a side note? But anyway, it's just... uh, I, I, I have the same passion of, of <laughs> describing Hannibal's crossing the Alps of elephants. So like this doesn't happen. It cannot happen. Any historian, if you would, if you wouldn't yeah. replace elephants, this is this isn't a thing. And the fact that he won so well uh, tells you that it shouldn't happen against Rome. And the fact that he was recalled because he wasn't winning fast enough should tell you all the things about humanity that shouldn't be the case. But you know what? We we take it as as truth for for that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they had to fire their general and bring in Fabian. Right. Like a Fabian <laughs> strategy of of just let them win just slower. <laughs> yeah. um, well, and I think that's, that's one of the things too, that, that uh, is something dads can do is I, I've met so many people that sadly, Oh, I haven't read a book since college. And it's just, that's just heartbreaking. Like nothing, nothing has interest you. And granted we do have phones and we think, Oh, I've read articles or I've read tweets or I've read whatever. And that counts as reading. And I, I think that's the, the, the flaw of, of having those devices, but also the benefit is, I don't have to go to the library and hope that my library has a book to look up, you know, who is Jackie Robinson. <laughs> I can, I can pull that up and show kids exactly what it is, but reading the books and reading to your kids and reading advance them. Uh, you know, uh, my, my oldest daughter and I, uh, we've, we've read the Hobbit and we're uh, going through Lord of the Rings. She goes, man, there's a lot of words in here that I don't understand. It's like, is that taken away from your enjoyment of the story though? No, I still like what's happening. And so it's that, here's a book that dad views as important. And uh, I'm also viewing it as, as important and listening to it. And, you know, we've done this, right? Uh, I always bring up the, there's a joke in Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Uh, how did you learn how to do mouth to mouth? Oh, I learned it in French class. And for the longest time, I did not understand the joke. I, I went through probably all of high school and then I went, oh, I get that joke now. And so now my kids are at the point where we, we've watched that. And I was like, this is the joke that like eluded me for many years. And that probably says a lot about my dating life, but, uh, but that's reg regardless of the point. Uh, but it's like, Oh no, explain that joke to us. I was like, Oh, I can't, you, you have to, you have to go through the same journey that I did through, through that joke. But, uh, but having that, that, um, that, uh, ability to enjoy 
what you don't always understand and that that that's kind of what education is is okay i didn't get this i failed at this assignment or um you know dad is dad is reading the story to me uh you know the 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 benefits i mean you can't find a study that says it, it it's worthless or uh negatively affects your kids to read to them at 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 any age right. at any level at for anything you know you you can pick up your um how to fix hot rods or whatever you normal dads do and and read about uh you know the 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 um the one and only time that the uh the my name dolphins won all the all the games see i i knew that one so i'm i'll pick that one <laughs> and you can you can describe the the juggernauts of 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 that starting lineup to your kids and your kids are going to to listen and they're going to they might not enjoy sports but they're going to see you read a book and they're going to get in their idea in their head at the idea oh if i need to learn something i i can pick up a book and read about it because dad is learning something new he's sharing it uh with me and i don't understand what Hannibal and Carthage and all these things have to do. I understand elephants, battle elephants. What? I, I don't know what that would look like. So it, it's just fun to, to see kids view you as having fun with any subject. So it could be math. Let's, let's, let's do math. I'll show you, uh, you know, it, w- once, once I revealed to my daughter that I accidentally uh, tricked her into um, learning algebra by checking her work backwards, when we were doing multiplication and division, mm-hmm. when she got to, the, oh, I'm, I'm super nervous about this. I was like, no, watch this. And we did the first problem. I was like, remember when dad told you to check your work? This is exactly what we're doing, uh, what we've done before. And it was like, oh, dad, dad knew a thing. And he, he, he you know, I, I can trust him to, to, to lead me on this path. And so next time when she comes to things like, I don't know, calculus or, or, uh, plotting a line or, or whatever, proving triangles, which is worthless to do. Um, uh, I, I'm, I'm hoping that that nerve uh, won't, won't be there as well because um, I'm able to teach her in that way. Now, my other daughter, she learns in a different style. And that's the weirdest part about having kids is what will work for one won't work for the other. But then yep. the, the, what, what your one child is, is how that one learns, you can then take that and say, Okay, they don't take to the reading, but they take to the, all right, let me read this to you, and you do it. And all of a sudden it clicks, and you're like, oh, you just learn in a different way. And so by dads being involved in that way, by reading to them, by figuring out how they learn, uh, that's something that dads can actively do. And all the other fun things, too. You, you know, the, there's a dad that uh, does this uh, YouTube show, Home Variety Show. He's a musician. He sings these little songs for classical conversations. My, my youngest daughter at four knew the, um, the areas of the Levant because, and she still sings that song just randomly, oh, no. Turkey, Cyprus, Syria, Rakaran, the Levant, just out of the blue. She, she could be sick as a dog and she'll have that song stuck in her head. But, you know, you, you can do those things. Those are, those are, you know, above and beyond, but, uh, but just that being active in, in, in the way that plays to your strengths as well as, as a dad, um, is that is that other area of adding to the the pathos ethos pathos aramis i forget which of the the three musketeers i'm talking about but uh, <laughs> uh the, the areas of education uh, that uh that uh dads can add that's not just only a mom thing and it, it again it's it's learning from two you know when we had professors in in college why did we like some and uh like others but they're different subjects. Well, they didn't all teach the same. You just learn differently from different people. And mm-hmm. that's one of the benefits of adding to that and still having control over curriculum, uh, w- the way that you know your child. So, you know, you're not going to, to uh, give your kid who's struggling with multiplication, uh, you know, double, uh, double digit multiplication until you've gone and set up the, the avenues. But you only know that because you're you're actively involved in that. 